What is poetry? Believe it or not, most people struggle to answer this question. Most times individuals will give their interpretation as opposed to a solid definition. Even the major dictionaries differ greatly at times in defining what a poem is. If you haven't already, and without cheating, ask yourself, what is poetry? If you don't know, are unsure, or want to see if you're right, stick around. We're about to answer that. Here's what a few popular dictionaries have to say. Webster's Dictionary, metrical writing, writing that formulates a concentrated imaginative awareness of experience in language chosen and arranged to create a specific emotional response through meaning, sound, and rhythm. Oxford Dictionary, literary work in which special intensity is given to the expression of feelings and ideas by the use of distinctive style and rhythm. Macmillan Dictionary, a piece of writing using beautiful or unusual language arranged in fixed lines that have a particular beat and often rhyme. Cambridge Dictionary, a piece of writing in which the words are carefully chosen for the images and ideas they suggest, and in which the sounds of the words when read aloud often follow a particular rhythmic pattern. Collins Dictionary, an arrangement of words written or spoken, traditionally a rhythmical composition, sometimes rhymed, expressing experiences, ideas, or emotions in a style more concentrated, imaginative, and powerful than ordinary speech or prose. Some are in meter, some are free verse. Since we're having this conversation in the digital world, I figured we could throw in Dictionary.com, the art of rhythmical composition, written or spoken, for exciting pleasure by beautiful, imaginative, or elevated thoughts. And for fun, here's the definition from the Scrabble Dictionary. Poetry is a style of writing that uses a formula or organization and that is often divided up into lines or stanzas, or it refers to something beautiful. But we're not gonna count this definition, just mentioning it for fun. Now, if we break it down even further, out of the six definitions given, four of them mention sound or spoken word. Three out of the six mention experience. Four out of the six mention imagination or it having to be imaginative. Three out of the six mention emotion and feelings. Six out of the six mention rhythm, that they are written in a rhythmic format. So the only trait each dictionary feels is important to mention in its definition of poetry is rhythm. It is good to note here, before we move further along, a brief etymology of the word poetry. We'll get to the full etymology in another video. It's rooted in the ancient Greek word oesis, which means to make, a verb, an action word. Thousands of years ago, it was a surname. Moving further along, it stems from the old French word poete, which I hope I'm saying right, and more directly from the Latin word poeta and poetria. I suggest you do more research on your own, as these variations of the word include the meanings to create, build, pile up, a deed, an order. A cool footnote here is the root word boesis is sometimes used as a suffix in science. The deeper down the rabbit hole you go, you'll begin to see how cultures of all lands and eras took their own liberty in defining the word. So, in the tradition of those language aficionados before us, we're gonna do the same. That is right. The irony of it all is we're about to do what we said most people do at the beginning of this episode. We're going to give you an interpretation, but it will be one compromised of all the popular English dictionaries and the etymology of the word. And you're in luck. We have two definitions for you. One. In the broader sense of the definition, poetry is the creation of imagination, experience, and life. Flowers blooming, a child's mind expanding, or a breathtaking rendition of your favorite ballet is all poetry. Remember, the root of the word is to make. In a more narrow sense of the definition, poetry is a written and oral tradition composed of rhythmical words describing an experience or something of one's imagination in a way deemed beautiful and more concentrated than ordinary speech. A little wordy, but I ask, how else do you describe the almighty describer? Moving forward in this series, this will be our definition of what poetry is. I hope this has helped some, and woohoo! You stuck around to the end and you survived my crude animation. Thanks! If you think what we discussed is worthy of consideration, please pass the video on to those you know who would enjoy it. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is going to be the beginning of a new series, so make sure to subscribe. And again, thanks for watching. Poetry Defined. Probably the most popular. Everyone is challenged to write one new poem per day. 
30 poems in 30 days. Hence its name, 